Dave and this is Logan out once again for a walk in the countryside. Thanks for joining us. Now today we're at the pretty little village of Mitchell Dever in Hampshire. It's about six miles to the north of Winchester and we're going to be doing a roughly three and a half mile circular walk starting in the village and then heading east to a place called a little hamlet called West Stratton and then back along the banks of the River Diva to another little hamlet called Northbrook and then back into the village. It's a beautiful sunny morning. I'm filming in the middle of July. The temperature is going to be about 22, 23 degrees. Should be perfect for a walk. So do join us. Well, I'm going to start my walk by the church which is just by me to my left here and I'll carefully turn around so that uh, you can see it and there it is the uh, church of uh, St Mary the Virgin and it's the um, well it's at least the third church that's been here on the site and it was included in a grant to Hyde Abbey which is just outside of Winchester in 903 AD and a church was built here in the late 13th century uh, just looking up at the marvellous tower there, that was built in 1544, part constructed of stone brought from the abbey building when it was demolished in the dissolution of monasteries. I think there are six bells in there, two from 1703 and four from 1892 and some rather scary looking gargoyles at the top. But I think the thing that stands out about this church is just looking to the side there it's the nave which was rebuilt in this sort of octagonal shape in 1806 which is um, slightly unusual. Uh, further major building works took place in 1880s particularly the the chancel but um, well should we um, should we have a quick look inside? Well here we go just have a little peep inside what the uh, lights like here now that's what I was looking for this um, little I suppose you call it a cart really but this was used for carrying coffins all the way from a uh, little village of West Stratton and when we do our walk we'll go across a place a track called coffin walk which is where they used to uh, say carry the coffins using this and uh, have a little bit of a peep inside. A beautiful font there. And then this is what I wanted to see, just on the inside, what the uh, octagonal, is it, is it one, two, three, four, yeah, eight sides? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, eight. Let's see what it looks like inside. Oh, bend back. It's, it's certainly different, isn't it? And then uh, we're just heading to the far end. There's the pulpit. And uh, finally the altar. Oh, magnificent uh, organ. And there we go. So I just wanted a little peep inside. Well, before we start our walk into the countryside, we'll have a little wander through the village because it really is quite pretty. Completely full of thatched and timber cottages. And here's a good example just right at the start here. And this is, uh, isn't that delightful? Westbrook Cottage. And that was built in 1680. Isn't that exquisite? So we're going to head up slightly uphill uh, back towards the church and see how many more we can find. Another beautiful one, Barn Cottage. And I think that's 15th century and it was a butcher's shop uh, in the 18th century right up till the 1950s. And Field Barn, which is next door, used to be the slaughterhouse and it was converted to a house in 1953. Oh, isn't that another beautiful one? 
Uh, I think this is called Gardener's and Honeysuckle Cottage, built 1580. Isn't that terrific? And then, gosh, someone's worked hard with a whitewash on that one there, haven't they? Love the thatch as well. And then over here we've got what this is the the old bake house. It was a bakery obviously and then it was the telephone exchange in the 1920s. Oh gosh, they keep on coming, don't they? This is beautiful. Heather Cottage, which dates from 1600. And then over here, this little triangle with a tree, this is called the Crease. It's probably where the, the village cross once stood. And I think there was a cottage and a shoe shop in the center of the triangle before it was replaced by a tree. And then, oh wow, look at this. Now this, I believe, is the oldest building in the village. Uh, Shillingbury Cottages. It's actually three cottages and they form part of, I say, the oldest house in the village, built in 1480. It might have been a pilgrim's hospice or a home for a, a wealthy yeoman, but oh, this is... Now what does that date say on the door? 1463. What an awesome door as well. Well, I'm starting to make my way out of the village. It's such a pretty place. It's, I could virtually do a video on the cottages just alone. I mean, look at this one behind me here, Griffin Cottage. Isn't that beautiful? It's just be, recently been rethatched, and uh, look at the um, thatched griffin on top of the roof. Isn't that fantastic. Well, I'm now at the most southerly point of the village, just about to head into the countryside and uh, just to say hello to the pub, which is behind me here, the Half Moon and Spread Eagle. It used to be called the Diva Arms and I think it's a community pub now, um, saved uh, from developers fairly recently. But it's an old Drover's Inn that dates back to the early 1700s and it overlooks the former village cricket ground. Sun really is out in all its glory now. It's, uh, it's a beautiful day. Just making our way out now into the countryside, crossing a, a crop of um, what looks like broad beans, but I think they've seen better days. <laughs> if I show you what I mean, if I go up quite close. Um, well, they're certainly not going to be uh, harvested to eat. I wonder if they've just been left to go to seed and then they'll be. Um, harvested just for the seed. I, I, I can only imagine that's what's happening there. But uh, as you can see, it's a whole, the whole area has just been let to go like that. I was about halfway across this uh, broad bean field and we're going to change direction now and start heading east. And I'm going to follow a, a track that's just by me here. And uh, if we have a look down in that direction. Now this is, well on an Ordnance Survey map, it's called Chapel Avenue but it's known locally as Coffin Walk and you might remember when we were inside the church I showed you that cart well this is where it was used and the day before cars the the dead from nearby West and East Stratton were conveyed by that handcraft uh, to the church for burial along this very track so it's quite an ancient track and just looking just noticed down here excuse my um, shadow <laughs> but look there's uh, a mound of sawdust that's the second walk in a row that I've done where I've seen um, you know sawdust from uh, uh, hash house harriers so it's obviously very popular in the in the summer it's a lovely day to be out isn't it, it? Is. <laughs> oh, your horses are looking lovely Oh, 
Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> it's uh, it's certainly a lovely day or lovely sunny summer's morning to be out riding. We're just making our way along this little wooded avenue, mainly uh, beech and hazel, which is nice getting the shade from this uh, this sun. But from time to time, we get these beautiful views, which you can probably just see me behind me here. This is um, looking north with uh, your fields of crops. Terrific time of the year. Wow, look at this at the bottom of a beech tree. Now that is a fungus and a half. I'm guessing it's some sort of uh, bracket. And you see it's got semicircular shelves on it. it. Just They tend to build up new layers of tubes each year. But it's quite, the flesh is quite thick on top and then at the edge you've got a, a much sort of softer bit very much uh, uh, I love the colours as well look at this one here where you've got the sort of brown the different colours of browns and then that that white bit there fascinating I wonder how many years that's been you almost miss it you almost, it almost looks part of the the tree just come out of that lovely shaded woodland heading north just for a little bit and I've just crossed the river although you wouldn't know it because uh, as you can see just over my shoulder it is completely bone dry <laughs> although yeah to be fair its source is only about 800 a thousand yards away uh, to the east um, very close to uh, where the A33 is, which you can probably just about hear in the background. So we're going to carry along here. Um, just before we start heading back uh, west, just want to have a little look at a, a little hamlet called West Stratton. Well, I'll say I've done a little detour just to have a look at the tiny little hamlet of West Stratton. Again, more delightful uh, thatched cottages and a very impressive manor house which uh, is just round to my left. You can just about see through there. It's an impressive 19th century building with some quite wonderful views over the valley. Well, we're now making our way back westwards across this vast open field. There's lovely one, two, three oak trees in the middle of the field. I wonder if they've got a history behind them and just in front of them I can make out the uh, the gully of where the river would normally be again it's still dry in this particular section but there is a little bridge over there so it obviously does get full in the winter I don't know if you can see this little fella. Lovely chestnut colour. I've never seen one that colour before. Uh, obviously keeps getting camouflaged in all this grass, but where are you? <laughs> oh, what a lovely colour. Isn't that beautiful? You've nearly made it. Keep going. <laughs> Beautiful colour. Uh, where have you gone? 
<laughs> oh. One more hop and you'll really be in safety. Wow, look at that. Your quintessential countryside in the summer view. A field of golden corn gently swaying in the cool breeze. Glorious hot day. Virtually a blue sky. hard to find words to describe this but stunning certainly one of them well there are some quite gorgeous views on this walk again looking to the north more fields trees in full leaf I have found some water <laughs> although this looks as though it's uh, um, been artificially made in some form of, of, of lake because uh, sure enough, a few hundred yards to the east, it's bone dry. But even so, isn't that peaceful? Ducks quacking away. Quite delightful. We're now making our way through a little hamlet of Northbrook. And again, some more spectacular properties. Look at this here. There we go. Jasmine Cottage. Beautiful. In fact, all the way through this village, uh, this little hamlet, there's uh, just a myriad of beautiful houses and properties, one after the other. Well, we're nearly at the end of the walk now, uh, just about across the, the river back into the village. And if I turn around, we can actually see that it, <laughs> it does look like a river now flowing, albeit slowly, but oh, sunlight glinting, reflecting there underneath this lovely willow tree, clear water, a gravel bed, beautiful. Well folks, we've come to the end of our walk. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up or like and do make a comment. And. Uh, Please do subscribe if you haven't already done so. That way, hopefully, you'll be able to join us for another walk in the countryside sometime in the future. We've had a super walk today. The weather's been fantastic. And uh, we're now enjoying the, uh, the shade underneath the tree and the uh, little green in the centre of the village. So until we meet again, thanks for watching and cheerio. Mm -hmm.